In this video, Kevin and I are going to be talking about our likes and dislikes, uh, food likes and dislikes for the month of September. So if they, if the foods made it to this video, they were either really, really good or really, really bad. A lot of times we have some things that we didn't like and some people will guess, oh, that'll probably make it to the video. Well, it doesn't because sometimes it's just personal taste. It's mm -hmm. not like the company did a bad job with it. It's just a personal flavor that we didn't like. But these are usually things like the company completely missed the mark. Yeah, or and they have horrible textures or they're just yes. funky or whatever. Yes, so the first thing I wanna show you is this no-baked cookie dough. That's the name of it, no-baked. It's the chocolate chip I wrote on here. Not gritty like traditional cookie dough, very pasty like play-doh yeah. it had a chemical artificial flavor and i remember when we opened this up there was no seal mm -hmm. and it looked like they hand scoop it in there and they might i mean if it's a small company they're out of nashville tennessee if it's a small company just getting started they might hand scoop it but it it was horrible it was That's you bad. once you bought this you would never buy this again mm -hmm. Um, I can't imagine you buying it again. <laughs> no. It's like no other uh, cookie dough that we've ever had. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking I found that at the Fresh Market. Yeah. Um, yeah, not good. We haven't had good luck with a lot of the cookie dough at the Fresh Market. <laughs> no. Okay, will you hold those up? So these are Haribo Airdrops. And they were basically like breath mints. Yeah. And I wrote the blue tasted like... <laughs> Fingernail polish remover. It was very strong. I remember it. It tasted it's the mint. It yeah. tasted like a combination of fingernail polish and rubbing alcohol. Yeah. And then the purple was a bad combination of like black currant and mint. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible. They sell these in World Market, and I I cannot imagine the American market. Once you bought a bag and tried them, they're they're like three forty nine each at yeah. the fresh market. I can't imagine anybody buying them again because they're so strong and horrible, horrible flavors. Yeah. It's it's not like any. They're too they're too strong. Yes, and this is black currant by the way. Yeah, it's so, a it's but a, it's it's a pretty it's a, bad. It's black, black currant mixed with mint. Yeah, so which a, is bizarre. It's, it's not a good black. It, it It'd be like work. mixing raisin and mint. <laughs> yeah, it's totally kind of, weird. It doesn't go together yeah, at all. Minty raisin's not a good combination. No. It would not be a good combination. Uh, so, um, now we're going to move on to the good things. Those were the only bad things that were bad enough to make it in right. this video. So, now the really, really good things. We're going to be positive now. Uh, Rachel in Pennsylvania sent us this. This is my big fat cookie, and this is the s'mores. I had never heard of mm -hmm. My Big Fat Cookie until Rachel sent this to us, and I absolutely love this. Uh, Kevin loved it. We actually heated up for just a few seconds. It was awesome. Yes, yeah, so we halved it, and we heated half of it, so we tried it unheated and heated, and that's the way to go is heated mm -hmm. in it. Yeah, it's, it's really good, um, and there's no heating directions on the package. No. So they don't recommend you heat it up, but we recommend no, you No, they're doing themselves a disservice by yeah. not putting heating directions yeah, on the package. Yeah, a little line just saying, uh, for, a, for best for, results. For a great cookie. For the yeah. best flavor. Yeah, uh, microwave me for 10 seconds or whatever, yeah. it, it, because it makes a huge difference. And they're good by the, they're good at room temperature, but they're really good heated up. And they have all kinds of flavors of these. So we appreciate Rachel sending us that. You've got a lot more. I do have a lot more than you. Mike in Illinois sent us these Lara bars. Mm -hmm. I would have never in a million years thought that these would have made the favorites video, but they're darn good, good. Lara bars. This one is the peanut butter chocolate chip, and this one is the double chocolate truffle. Both of these I could get all the time. Now, they they aren't low calorie. I mean, this one's 210 calories. The peanut butter's 220 calories. So it's not like you're eating lower calorie, yeah. um, but these are just really, really good, good bars. bars. Yeah. So thanks to Mike for enlightening us. There, there are a lot of uh, dates in there. <laughs> yes, yes. But those those flavors really uh, were, stood out against the dates. Right, yeah. Um, so now we both have this. This is Gorilla Mind. This is the Arctic White, and, and it was the, my favorite. And I have the Black Cherry Vanilla, which was mine. 
Yeah, so so we reviewed, I think there were four of these mm -hmm. in one video, and these just happen to be our favorites. We bought these at the vitamin shop, and so I don't know where else they sell these, uh, but if you want a great energy drink, uh, yeah, these are good. Th this is only 10 calories. Is yours only 10? Five. Five calories. So, yeah, I, I have no issue with that. And then I'm going to show you a couple more energy drinks while okay. we're doing energy drinks. This is the G Fuel. This is a limited edition, so I don't even know how long it'll be out. This is the Crash Bandicoot, and it's Wumpa Fruit. And I have the, the Mega Man, the Blue Bomber Slushy. And these, these are both really good. These are zero calories, right? Yep. Yeah, zero calories. Yeah, like, they're, they're more candy like. Once again, if you want an energy drink, uh, and you see these, we bought these in Target. So Target, and they were up by the checkout when we bought them. Of course, they're going to move them all around the store. So who knows where they'll be when you find them. Um, I hope you can still get this uh, Crash Bandicoot because it's a uh, limited edition. Uh, both flavors were good enough to make it in this video. And they have 300 milligrams of caffeine. Uh, the uh, <laughs> the Gorilla had, had 200. Two. 200. The G Fuel had three. So, yeah. But I can honestly say they did not, neither one of those made me feel like that tingly, like that tingly all over my body. Yeah, there's one brand that, that does that. Ooh. But it even warns that it will do that. Well, I don't I don't like that. Yeah, I, it never did me. But. Yeah, don't like that. Okay, now um, this was a, a Rouge de Noel. It is a, a Christmas edition cake. It um, This to me... Tasted I, my favorite Milka besides the Milka candy bars that they make in Germany. I'm not talking about Milka anything that comes That's made in America. I'm talking when I say Milka. I'm talking about overseas Milka always um, This tasted like a Milka Swiss roll, which is my one my favorite like snack cake um, love it. And that's what this tasted like. We actually bought this at World Market, so you can get this. And, um, it, it came in like a, well, it comes just like you see it here on the side. Yeah, it's like a, a, tray. Lo a log and uh, a little, little, little cardboard tray you pull out and you can just slice it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love it. Really, really good. I think you liked it better than I did, but I, I still liked it. There were others in that, there was another one in that yeah. video that you liked better. But and, but I liked that one the best. For me, none of them would be a repurchase for me personally, but Tammy liked it better than I did. Mm -hmm. I liked it enough to repurchase it. Um, this, um, it's so funny this is in favorites because this is uh, handcrafted the ultimate English confectioners of Yorkshire. This is salted caramel fudge. What's so funny about this? is there's another brand new box of this that hasn't been opened in our cabinet where we keep foods that we're going to review because we bought this at the fresh market and we've reviewed it with something else i don't even remember what we reviewed it with but then when we went back in the world market into world market they had two other boxes with two other varieties world market i mean world market what yeah did I say? you said fresh market but it's okay world market world market and so we bought, it's like, oh, well, I want to buy that again because I want to buy it again, let's to, face to it, it, to eat it. But I want to buy it again to compare it to the two other ones. So there will be, you will see this again in another video. I don't know when we'll do it because it's in there. Um, but it's going to have, you're going to have three different flavors in that same video. So we'll see which one is the best. It's absolutely phenomenal mm -hmm. fudge. If you think you've had... If you think you like American fudge, you need to have this. It's fudge. different. It's I mean, it's different. completely different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, this is more a uh, sugary, gritty, hard almost. It's it, not hard. Like, it's not, it's not hard, hard. Hard like brittle or anything. But, but like our fudge is very creamy and soft. Right. This melt on your tongue kind of thing. Right. Well, this, this still kind of melts on your tongue too. It's more like sugar. Tongue, but you have to bite into it like mm -hmm. you're biting into like hardened brown sugar yeah that's basically kind of the texture it is it's, it's a gritty a crystally kind of brown sugary kind of texture mm -hmm. and it, it's just wonderful yeah. i can't speak and, and you don't get it's, it's called tablet in a lot of places yes heard of that. it's a smaller bag in here so it won't last you long no, uh, but it's, it's really good it's in, like it's off the chart sweet yeah i mean so, they look just like what they're showing mm -hmm. on the front so yeah 
So, do you, you want to go now? I can go. That's fine. Uh, this is the Sour Patch Kids Apple Harvest. And we were actually surprised. They sell this at Walmart or whatever. Uh, we were actually surprised at how good uh, the flavors were. And, and they actually did kind of taste like apples. So it was just really good. Plus Sour Patch Kids are good anyway. There were three different flavors mm -hmm. in there. There was a cranberry apple, apple cider, and caramel apple. Yeah, I'm, even the cranberry one was good. Yeah, I'm thinking the caramel apple was my favorite. Yeah. Which makes sense, but these were all really, really good. And some of you told me you were having trouble finding them because they sold out really quick. I'm sure they did. Those need to be out year round. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that, I mean, it is fall kind of themed, the apple thing, but not necessarily. They could just do an apple mix or something like that and not call it harvest. Yeah, it would be just as good. Yeah, those. Yeah. Are, but Sour Patch Kids are, are great quality anyway, and the texture and everything. So it makes sense that that would be really mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Um, I have some. I only have six things left. So. Okay, I have some Planters Cashews. These are the Dill Pickle. I really like Dill. I. <laughs> Dill's good. We we like Dill anyway. Yes, we really do. And dill's not something. When I was growing up, the only thing I had dill in was those oyster crackers mom did, and she didn't even do that until yeah. I was an adult. I was going to say, my mom never really cooked with dill. No, we did We didn't. pickles. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, well, and I don't cook with dill now. I don't have dill in there no. as, as, as a, a seasoning. No, uh, but it's a good dill weed or whatever. Right, I don't it's have any everything. right now. So unless a, a recipe called for it, then I would buy some. Right. But uh, I really do like dill. It, it's, it makes a huge difference to the, the flavor. And the difference is these weren't, they, they say pickled, but my memory is these weren't really like vinegary. They were, they had some vinegar, but they weren't strong vinegar. They were mostly dill. Just dill. My, is my memory yeah. of them, yeah. Um, and then uh, this is the Great Value, which is Walmart brand. This is the milk chocolate with salted toffee. I told you in this video, someone had told me about this months and months and months ago. And then I looked for it every single time we went in Walmart. They didn't have them. It's like they, they quit selling them for a while. Like it, they, they were getting having trouble getting them in or something. Yeah, it was like they were having trouble getting them in. Like because, the whole selection of candy bars, period. They were gonna Yeah, it was, it was really, really strange uh, because... You would go in other stores and they would have plenty of candy bars, but these great values specifically, the, their own Walmart brand, right. it was like they were having trouble getting yeah. those. Uh, but if you like uh, toffee, if you like like a Heath bar or something like that, um, this is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it really is good. flavored with natural vanilla flavor, but it is salted toffee. Mm -hmm. And these are cheap. They're very, very cheap. I'm thinking it was only like a dollar or something. And it's a 3.52 ounce candy bar. So totally, totally worth the money. Mm, this is good. Okay, then I have a Clancy's, which is Aldi brand. This is the maple drizzled kettle corn. And it was just terrific quality. This is one of those that they probably bring back every fall, if I had to guess. Um, but when you see this stuff, if you want to try it, you need to grab it in mm, Aldi because... Yeah, get, once it's out, it's out. Yeah, and it'll go until the next year. <laughs> right. Uh, but this is one that you don't want to miss. Uh, the maple drizzled. It was well coated very, too. Yes, very delicious. All right, so I have, I won't do that one yet. This one is the uh, Gelato Flight from, um, I can't read it, Sunday? Sunday Shop. Okay, Sunday Shop. It had the uh, limoncello, pistachio, and tiramisu. And where did we get that? Kroger. What no. <laughs> Wasn't it Kroger? <laughs> no, it wasn't at Kroger because I was thinking this reminded me of the lemon ices from Kroger. That's what the I was. love during this video. I she love. She likes to quiz me. I, I never remember. Sunday Shop is an Aldi brand. That's what it we was. bought yeah, it. Yeah, in yeah, Aldi. I remember. It now. I thought that's why you grabbed it because I showed the Aldi no. kettle corn and I thought, oh, he's falling in love. No, but I remember getting these in Aldi now. It was in that freezer. Yeah, room. you would look down in yeah. the freezer and there they the were. The reason I thought Kroger is Kroger sells lemon ice. Um, yeah. the little cups, and mm -hmm. this reminded me of those. That's why yeah. I thought of Kroger. I'll, I just like to give you a hard time. Because I don't remember. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember at all. But these were really good. They, they had a really good texture to them. They were really um, soft and, cre and not creamy. They're more ice, but, but they were still kind of Still kind of creamy. And they're in these adorable, I know, the cups, cups don't matter, yeah. but they were in adorable little cups. The only bad thing about these is really this is for like a single person. Yeah. Because you're only getting one of each flavor. Yeah, you're only getting one of each. So and, if you... And, and you're really not big enough to share, so. No. I, mean, I guess if you had three people, each one of you could get a flavor, but 
you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, really, I think that you're going to, if you have three people in your family, you're going to want to get three boxes if you think you'll like all those flavors. Yeah. Uh, but we really enjoy yeah, them. they're really good. Go ahead. Here we do another Yeah, because you've got all of your lunchtime review stuff, too. Yeah, uh, this is the Village Pie Maker. These are the mini pecan pies, and they were really good. We tried a bunch of these. Uh, Four. Yeah, and they sell them at Meyer. Is mm -hmm. the only place we've seen them. Yes, at. and it was only one Meyer. It's not the other Meyer. But they did get them in the other Meyer. Remember? That's right. Well, the last yes. time we went, they did have them. Yes. But, uh, these are really good. Then you put them. We put these in the oven. We put them in the oven. Yeah, yeah, we put them in the oven, heated them up, and um, and you just eat them, and and they're awesome. Um, they somebody had asked me where did you find them? Were they with the other frozen pies? Yes, they're in the frozen mm -hmm. department. The thing is, is in Meyer they were on the very, very top shelf. Mm -hmm. So they if you don't look sitting up. Sitting upright like this. Yeah, if you don't look, you might miss them up mm -hmm. there. But kind of honestly closer to down where the Cool Whip is. Yeah. So they have the frozen pies, but then right after that they have like Cool Whip and stuff like that. That's really where this was, right. is closer to the Cool Whip. But they're really good. The, um, the, yeah. the, the, the uh, Village Pie Makers are just a really good brand. The only anyway. thing that somebody <coughs> brought up, um, John brought it up, and I agree with him, is he said the pies at Walmart that you can get on the table, mm -hmm. they're only like, I don't know what he said, like 75 cents, they're 79 really cents a piece. Yeah. And they're really good. But they're delicious. Yeah. And so these were, you're, it's more expensive and you're only getting two. Right. So I do understand that oh, dilemma yeah. because when you, it's hard to spend so much more money when you know you can go to Walmart and get those little uh, pies uh, and they have all kinds of flavors. I understand that. So yeah. hopefully the price will go down a little bit. I mean, I, I mean, honestly, personally, I would go get the Walmart ones and eat those because they're cheaper. They're you know, cheaper. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you? And they're just as good. And I'm at Walmart more often than I am at Meyer. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. So I do get his point. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, but if you're willing to spend the money, they're really good quality. Yeah, they are. They really are. Uh, so this is a Cafe Panna. I splurged. <laughs> I splurged again and I bought Cafe Panna. So these were our two favorite flavors out of this batch. It was their, I think it was, this was the Panniversary. Yeah. Um, I liked the Canolish, uh, which is mascarpone, lemon curd, sweet cream with white chocolate coated cannoli shells and candied pistachios. And then the uh, cinnamon sour cherry pecan was a cinnamon sweet cream with cherry ripple and candied pecans. It was a very different flavor, mm -hmm. uh, but both of these, unique. the the secret with the cannoli was that they coated the shells. They were white chocolate. Uh, white chocolate, yeah, coated. And so the cannoli shells did not get soggy in the ice cream. Yeah, it made a huge difference. Mm -hmm massive difference yeah. but i loved it my, I, I think my only complaint about the cannolis was they were really big hunks it would have been nice if they'd broken it a little bit smaller but i mean it was still really good right so this uh this is um expensive ice cream but i did enjoy these they're great much. flavors they're still way too expensive. they're still too expensive yeah. yes okay so i'm and now i'm only have ice creams left uh, this one is the Fredericks on Meyer, which is a Meyer brand. This one is the caramel and sea salt gelato, and it kind of looks like a Talenti. It's in the Talenti cups. I noticed theirs are a softer plastic, yes. whereas the Talentis are a hard plastic. Yes. Just whatever. Um, you can still reuse these and put stuff in oh, them. Oh, yeah. Uh, but this um, this was an excellent flavor. Some of them were hit and miss, though. It's like most some of them, of them were missed. Mo most of them we really didn't like that much. It no. was like, oh, that's just, yeah, it's not yeah. a flavor I would want again and stuff like that. But this one, the caramel and sea salt was a, was a really good one. Okay, I have the Crank and Boom. Uh, this is a small batch club, Crank and Boom, bourbon and Coke. It was good. I like bourbon and Coke anyway. Uh, bourbon and Coke is like, if I could pick a drink, a favorite uh, alcoholic drink, this would be it, bourbon and Coke. Um, I, it's just a great flavor combination. Crank and Boom is ice cream. It's made in Lexington, Kentucky. So it is a local for us. Uh, we're right outside of Lexington. 
and so they do sell crank and boom at our whole foods uh, but special flavors like this you need to go to one of their shops they have two locations in lexington and we've been to both locations uh the one uh one has much easier parking clay's mills much easier to get to yes if you <laughs> yeah if you want to not have to worry about parking go to the clay's mill location yeah, manchester where they actually make them it's, uh, it's a little more challenging to find parking it's a funkier cooler it's, atmosphere it's cool, but it's but it's hard to park yeah so that's i've said before during these reviews i have dropped kevin off and i've circled the drain i'm circling yeah. while he's going and buying it because you just can't find a parking yeah. place and i'd it much rather matter. have convenience than funky yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> what time of day it is either it's no, always even, busy it, well and we've usually been right around lunchtime too so and everybody in well they don't open till then that's true they don't even open till like 11 or they don't open there. till then so you don't have a choice but yeah. to be down there at that that's time true. if you wanted to get there earlier to beat the crowd you really can't yeah. you know but a lot of people go there for lunch too so well it's, it's not really frank and boom that area yeah. there's pizza places and all yeah. kinds of stuff in that Fresh area so but this bourbon and coke it's they really can good. sell this year round they did a good job i could have this in milkshake form mm -hmm. loved it they do sell it on gold belly but but not the special batches or small batches right okay like i said i've got three ice creams so i'm just gonna go for it um we have the Haledos mexico this one is the uh Vanilla with dolce de leche and pecans. That this really good. is a good brand. Yeah, it, most of them have been really, there's been a couple that were like, eh, they're, it's good, but it's not awesome. Uh, most of the Mexico one, the Haledos has been really, really good though. If yes. you haven't ever tried it, you should give it a try. Absolutely. If you see these blue containers yep. in the store, don't pass them by. They're absolutely worth getting, and they're not expensive. Mm -mm, no. And it's a full pint too, wasn't yeah, it? I think so. Does it say on there? No, six, yeah. six yeah so it's a full pint and i mean why wouldn't you uh you're paying the same price for that yep. as you would for the next one kevin's gonna yep. show you which i don't think was a full pint this, this one uh yeah Probably. i think the scoops ahoy that is a pint yeah i think the scoops ahoy was only so four. i this, think that was only four i could be wrong i know for sure Van Leeuwen, which we don't have any in this video anyway, won't. <laughs> but those those were only 14 ounces. Well, this one now that Hannah mentioned, this was the Netflix Scoops Ahoy ice cream. This one is the chocolate pudding. Um, we did a, this was in the, uh, we reviewed two other ones as well. Some mint chocolate and I can't remember what the other one was, but um, it's some cookie dough or something like that. But anyway, this was the best of the three, but we like actually liked all three of them, but there was um, I said during the video, there's something negative on each one of them, like something that, that we didn't love about each one of them. Um, this one was the chocolate in there was just like whatever, but, um, but it was a really good flavor. They were really good. They're definitely worth trying. If you see them in your Walmart, try them out. I think, Except I think for the void. Yeah, the void was not very the good. The void was a solid black ice cream. Yeah, but you could taste the You could taste the, the dye. dye. Yeah. yeah, you tasted the dye. Anytime they put that much dye in something to make it black or all red or something like that, it, you're you're probably if you're taste sensitive the dye. at all, yeah. then you're gonna taste that. Uh, this is the Forchi brand, Forchi Patissiere. Uh, this is uh, made in France and it is a peppermint and chocolate flavor brownie. It was good. It was excellent. And I said during this review, I said, I wonder if they make a regular brownie. Well, guess what? It we did. went back in World Market like uh, the a week later. Well, then they had the regular one. So if I had, that's the thing is when I see something, I get it. I want to get it right then. You, you don't want to wait. Just that long. Right. So uh, who would have known that the next week they would have had the regular one. So I could have tried the regular and the peppermint. But trust me, if the peppermint's that good, the regular one's going to be that good too. Because peppermint's not one of the, I like peppermint, but it's not a flavor I crave all the time. Right. This was an exceptional brownie, and it's coming all the way from France. Mm -hmm. It is fresh. It's delicious. It's good. It's good rich. textures, good flavors. Yeah. Wonderful. I loved it. Yeah, so there was nothing bad about that. No. That's so sure. yeah, World Market is where you need to get and, that. And that's not something you see very often as a peppermint brownie. No. Um, so I don't it was, think so. It was it was unique and good. Yeah. So this is my last ice cream. Uh, this one is the Little Debbie Turtle Brownie. It is one pint. Um, 
this little deli. Debbie Those are made by Hudsonville. Yeah, they're Hudsonville, which Hudsonville for the most part are pretty good. There's been a mm -hmm. couple that we were kind of misses for us, but for the most part, they're really, really good. Um, these were at Walmart, right? Walmart, yeah. yeah. For now, these are at And I think Walmart like sells them exclusively, the new flavors. Yeah, maybe for like three, six months or something. And then you'll see everybody else selling. Yeah. So you'll see Little Debbie's other places too, yes. but they're not this particular flavor. But it was really, really or good. Or it might be out by now. It might be I don't out by know. Now. That's yeah. true. But uh, this is one of the good ones. It had a really good uh, caramel and uh, brownie flavor. So the last thing we have for this, the Tammy Dunn YouTube channel, is the Bon Mon Mon, and I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, we it will is all, what it is. We will all live with that. Um, until I visit France, or actually hear it slowly spoken. <laughs> I won't get it. Uh, it's a product of France. These were the fig preserves. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, who love have? the fig preserves. I think this is probably my favorite Bon Mon Mon Bon Mon Man. Bon, I think it's like Bon Mon Man. Uh, but this is like my very favorite, probably even out of the raspberry and every other flavor they have. You know, they have the whole advent calendar. If you've never bought their advent calendar, be looking for it because you'll see them this time of year. Mm -hmm. um, and they have these cute, we've done uh, two, two years we've yeah. done their advent calendars, done reviews of them. And they're the cutest little jars. They only last you for one serving. Um, yeah, a couple pieces of toast, it's done. And it's gone. But it is so fun to try all the different they flavors. They have honey in there, too. Yeah, usually you get one or two little pots of honey in there. Mm -hmm. um, but they're like a little thimble size. Uh, but this, uh, the fig preserves, was just absolutely it was very, very stellar. Good. Loved it. Would buy this again and again. Mm -hmm. So, now, we're going to change gears, switch gears. Kevin has another channel called Lunchtime Review. And if you, if you have not checked it out, please check it out. Subscribe. <laughs> like the videos. Um, I'm trying to see if these were all, yeah, they were. Okay. Four days a week, he reviews something that is either shelf stable or it's frozen or something like that. And then one. Something can be microwaved usually if it's frozen. Yes. And then one day a week on Thursdays, he posts an out to eat video. So it could be from a nice restaurant like Texas Roadhouse and he might get it curbside. Or it could be from McDonald's. So, but he is, it's something that he's gone out to eat to yeah. get. And I, try, not, I try to get something different and something kind of new if I can, but right. not always. Right. So, um, do you I had a bunch of favorites yeah. this time. Um, one, three of them are similar and then one's not. Uh, this one is the Stouffer's Ultimate Five Cheese Macaroni. Uh, I gave it a four and a half and I just said it was an excellent uh, cheese flavor. So sometimes... Sometimes some of these macaroni cheese meals are, are kind of, bleh. you know, they're just powdery cheese like a craft macaroni cheese, which is not bad, but it's not a quality product. Um, so this one was really good. It was excellent. The, the cheese flavor was really, really good. And the five cheese mix was really neat because not only do you get that creamy, melty cheese, but you also got that kind of the pulley, stringy cheese. Mm -hmm. So you got both versions in this. So that's what made it really, really good. Four and a half out of five. Five stars. That's, yeah, four that's, and a half out of five. That's great. Because I usually I usually don't go that high. Um, this one is the... The other three, I can just tell you, are Walmart meals. They come from Walmart. They're the chef uh, meals that Walmart... Chef inspired. Yeah. Well, they're by chefs. They're by the chef. Yeah. yeah. Um, so this one is the Andrew Zimmern... Zimmern. 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 And I get that wrong because me and Henry both have called him Zimmerman for so long. Well, it's, I never watched his show. I know. I've never seen it before, so I'm just like... And so I, when you look at it really quick, you think Zimmerman. Zimmerman. That's it's a, not. It's Zimmerman. not. So, uh, so I have to pr correct that in my mind. So I gave this one a 4.5, and this one is the Swedish style meatballs, which I love a good Swedish meatball anyway. These are excellent. The flavors were good. The gravy that was on top of them was, was just top notch. And the... the the egg noodles were really, really good too. And so I gave it a 4.5. They're a little more expensive than some meals. So this was like $5. For, um, the macaroni and cheese I just showed you was $3.99. So they are more expensive, but they're, this one at least I thought was worth it because you get a lot of food in it and it's very filling. Another one from him is the pulled pork mac and cheese. And I gave this one a 5. Oh, because five out of five. it had enough of the pulled pork in it to where you could really taste it. The sauce was excellent. The pasta and the cheese was really, really good. 
I, I can't go on enough about both of these meals. They were really uh, just excellent quality meals. And then I have one more from them. This one is the uh, um, Cardia Brown. I think I'm saying her name correctly. We've know. never watched her show. I'm I've assuming never, I've never she even heard a show. It. Yeah, I'm sure she does. I've never heard her name said, so I don't no. know. I'm just saying it how it looks. Uh, this one is the Cardia Brown. This is the Chicken Fettuccine Alfredo. Uh, this one was neat because it was different. It wasn't like uh, just chicken and a white sauce and pasta. It, it had other stuff in it. So it had... Um, um, collard greens and country style alfredo sauce which was different than just a regular alfredo sauce and the chicken was really nice too it was, it was like a grilled chicken it was it was just really really good and i gave this one a five as well so two fives and a four and a half uh, out of these they're really good let me just say now that i've done these are, are a lot of these out now some of them are a lot but not all i won't say particulars because i don't remember particulars i can just say the one i was expecting to be the highest quality because the chef that uh, well you could say gordon Ramsay. yeah the chef that inspired it i was gonna say that oh i'm sorry she ruined it. i'm sorry the chef that in that the chef ramsey gordon ramsey's all about the highest quality and the highest tier foods and stuff his have not been the greatest his have actually been my least favorite meals <laughs> so, not but. that they're all bad they're not bad at all they're still good but they're uh, they're my least favorite of the bunch so do these have both microwave and oven directions or are they just microwave? No, most of these are just microwave. Just microwave Microwave, directions. microwave, microwave. Um, I think I've had maybe one or two that are both, but almost all, almost every one of them just had microwave. So that's the thing about Kevin's Lunchtime Review channel is it's supposed to be for people, at, it's geared towards people at for, that are going to work um, in a building for lunch and you don't have access to an oven. So Kevin, Kevin's whole deal on his Lunchtime Review channel is he only does microwave. So if the makers of this meal say it can be microwaved, then he's going to microwave it. So a lot of times people will say, oh, this would be better in the oven. Well, then the company shouldn't put microwave directions on there. That's just how we feel about it. And I completely agree with that. So if it's a poor product of the microwave, you shouldn't have it. Then they directions. shouldn't. Yeah. If you don't, you, the company should want the, the, to put their best foot forward. And there's a lot of things Kevin has wanted to review and he'll pick it up and say, nope, can't microwave it. And then it goes right back on the shelf and, yeah. and we just don't microwave it. So you're saying all three of these had microwave only. Only, only microwave. So there is, so there was four chefs. There was this Cardia Brown, or Cardia, how did you Cardia. say it? Cardia. Cardia Brown, Andrew Zimmern, there's a uh, Guy Fieri, mm -hmm. and there's Gordon Ramsay. If you are interested in seeing those meals, go to Kevin's Lunchtime Review channel because he's done a bunch oh. and there's going to be more coming out because we bought every single one of them. Yeah. The only Still one... Still too. There's a lot of them. Yeah. The only one that will be on uh, this channel is going to be the Gordon Ramsay, the fish and chips. And mm -hmm. Kevin is going to review it just like he does a lunchtime review, he's going to do it in the same format and everything, except he's going to do it on this channel. It has to be baked in the oven. It has to be baked in the oven. And you know what? But I wanted to try it, so. It might be stellar because, it might be. you know. My biggest problem with the Gordon Ramsay so far has been there, and almost all the other ones are different. Most of the time when you have like macaroni and cheese, let's say, uh, most of the time you microwave it for so long to kind of get the thaw, get it thawed really and get it warmed up a little bit. Then you give it a good stir. Right. And then you microwave it the rest of the way. Right. The Gordon Ramsay meals, almost every one of them have, have just been, here, put these in the microwave for five minutes. That's it. You're ready. It's oh, done. you don't stir it. You don't stir it. So what happens is the edges get really, really dry. And one of them was literally like burnt. I mean, like, like you could not eat a big hunk of it mm -hmm. um, because it had gotten so hot in the microwave in that one section. You're not stirring it to kind of mix in that heat. So it was, it was basically ruined. That, that whole section was, I couldn't eat it because it was scorched. It was burnt. It was, it was tasted horrible. So, uh, so anyway, I don't know why that, and I don't blame Gordon Ramsay for that. That's purely on the makers of that meal. Yes. Whoever this company is. They should is. have known better. Yeah. yeah. I, and I've said in every one of those videos, if they had you stir it up after a few minutes, it would have been fine. But right. it, it's whatever it is. So, um, so anyway, just know that the Gordon Ramsay ones are, eh, the other ones have all been really good. Right. But if you've seen <laughs> those in Walmart and you're wondering about them, please check out his channel because yep. he's reviewing them. Um, and, and 
I'm, I'm trying to have him get through all those. So you're going to see a lot of those. But then I have, we have, he has thrown some other reviews in there too. Yeah. So, um, but like I said, on Thursday, every single Thursday, you get a review where he's gone out to eat. Mm -hmm. He's gone through the drive through or he's picked something up curbside. Or so, rolled on and picked it up. Somewhere. Yes. So on the 7th, you got Chick-fil-A. You got the honey pepper pimento cheese sandwich, and you got a caramel crumble milkshake. Mm -hmm. On the 14th, you got Taco Bell rolled chicken tacos, chicken enchilada burrito, you got the strawberry twist, and you got a strawberry cream delight. Mm -hmm. That was a big day. Oh. On the 21st, you got... It's so cheap. You, you can't help but buy a lot of food. It's so cheap at Taco Bell. You know, uh, Mexican food is always cheap, but yeah, it, it's, it's always it's filling. filling. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then on the 21st, you had Arby's Big Game Burger. Mm -hmm. And then on the 28th, you had a first watch. Uh, you had Parma Hash. Um, and the Parma Hash, by the way, Matthew in Texas gave me a gift card for that. So thank you very, very much. Um, my favorite out of the whole bunch was probably the Taco Bell Road Chicken Tacos. Um, they were just really good. Now the enchiladas, the, the burritos, I've gotten, I don't, I'm not a fan of the Taco Bell burritos because they're all rice. They put so much rice in there that it, I, mean, filler. I, I mean a big old mouthful of rice. I would much rather have a taco with some, even if they don't give me much meat, I'd still rather have that with all the less tomato and stuff than, than a big ball of rice. So that's just me. Um, the Chick-fil-A was good. It was it was really, really good. The chicken sandwich was. Um, I didn't think you got really the honey much, but in the Parmesan, the pimento cheese was just okay. Um, so that was a good sandwich. It wasn't one I would necessarily go out of my way to go get again. I do think you had a different experience there than some other people. I know. Some people said they, they got lots of pimento. They got lots on their sandwich. Kevin did not. I got like you. a thin layer of pimento cheese. Yeah, so. if you watch, go back and watch that video, he didn't get much uh, cheese on him. No. So he didn't have the same experience that everybody else but, did. But you know, every restaurant has different people making their stuff. Yes. So, and I know they're supposed to meet a standard, you know, so much on or a certain amount of spoonful on or whatever, but sometimes people get in a rush and they don't do it the way they should. So whatever. Um, also the caramel crumble. Mine didn't have a really good caramel flavor, but I actually loved the, the crumble part because it was like little melted, um, little balls of like frosting. So uh -huh. when you're when you're drinking it, these little the little sugary balls are just you can kind of chew on them and they're gritty, sugary kind of. They were wonderful. I love I love the crumble. I just didn't really get the caramel flavor. Again, they're mixing it up when they when you make it. Now so. wait, go back to Taco Bell because you didn't mention those strawberry twists. Yeah, I haven't got there yet. Oh, I thought you were. I was going my way down. Oh, okay, so sorry. so that was the Chick Fil A. The Taco Bell, like I said, I really did like the rolled chicken tacos. I would get those no. again any time, any day of the week. The enchilada burrito, too much rice. The strawberry twists were a joke. Okay. Uh, literally, they were a joke. They were, I would never buy those again. The cinnamon ones are a hundred times better than the strawberry because they didn't have a really good strawberry flavor anyway. Um, and the strawberry cream delight, I really liked. It was really, really good. It had a really good flavor. Um, it's like an, a strawberry icy that they mix a little bit of vanilla ice cream into and, and mix it up. It's, it was really, really What's good. What's funny is I got to try a drink of the strawberry cream delight. I did not get to try the caramel crumble milkshake. That's because that didn't make it home. The reason the one was in town, the other one was in the next town, so uh -huh. it wouldn't so have been. So it was gone. It, by the time I drove half an hour back home, it was it was drank. <laughs> um, the Arby's Big Game Burger, I really did like that, and the steak sauce, which I, I call barbecue sauce at first, but it was really it was a steak sauce, and I came back and said that later. Um, it was really good. Now their Arby's is, is kind of got their the game burger is kind of dense. Um, it's it's kind of a dense burger. It's mm -hmm. not a really. Um, it's kind of chewy. It's kind of tough. Um, but the Arby's doesn't have grills, so they're like deep frying them, boiling them. I don't know what they're doing, but it was better than the first experience when they first came out with burgers. It was gray, looked disgusting. This was actually. Um, like fried on the outside. So I'm assuming they put it in a deep fryer. <laughs> Which, uh, some people said that they thought it tasted too gamey. And and you and I said that during it. It definitely has a different flavor than um, than a regular hamburger, ground mm -hmm. beef. Um, it kind of reminds you of Montana, the Buffalo Burgers. Oh, from Ted's. The Tense. Bison Burgers. Ted's Tense. Montana yeah. Grill. Um, it kind of reminds you of those, although this was even a little bit more gamey than that. But I liked it. I, I like the flavor and I love the steak sauce on it. I would get that one again. Except that the burger mine, they almost got too crispy on the outside and they kind of dried it out a little bit. 
So, you know, again, that's going to be varied with your, um, with your experience. And the first wash Parma hash, it was good. It was just basically hash browns with an egg on top and they threw in some onions and, um, some, I mean, uh, um, mushrooms and some, probably some onions and, um, uh, cheese. It was good. Is it, did it blow me away? No. I mean, it was something I could make at home with frozen hash browns and a, and a couple of eggs. It was so, kind of expensive. And it was, eight, I, I just got that in a drink. And it ended up being 18 something. They did they literally, when they, I ran the gift card because they gave, he gave me the gift card. They ran the gift card and he said, they, uh, the girl said, you have like three, whatever it was on still left. And I said, just put that as a tip. So they did. So I ended up spending the whole 25, but then, um, she just basically took the receipt, literally picked it up, wadded it up through the garbage. I didn't even have a chance to go. I wanted that. So I don't know exactly how much the meal was. It was right at $18 and it, that's expensive though. and the rest of it was a tip for a eggs tip. and hash browns that's kind of expensive <coughs> and a piece of a toast and the toast was that really chunky oaty bread and you did get some fresh fruit i did get some fruit i didn't even eat it i didn't even open it i mean i opened it and showed it but i didn't actually eat it oh you so didn't eat i didn't it. even try it because I, I mean i i don't normally eat fruit with stuff anyway right. some people might take that and dump it over the hash brown i don't know maybe you do i don't know right. maybe you eat it afterwards for a little burst of freshness um but all I can speak of is I did not go in and look at their, I went in to, to order, but I didn't actually get a menu. So they might've had tons of stuff on their menu. All I can judge it by is what's online and on their, you know, ordering online menu. They didn't have a lot that appealed to me, honestly. They had, a lot of it seemed very, very healthy. And there was a lot of uh, avocado, avocado and which stuff. we don't like um, avocado. Um, they even had the Parma, the uh, hash browns with, not the Parma one, but the hash browns with the avocado on them. And um, the drinks were all like juice, like healthy juice with drinks. With beet juice and stuff like that. I'm but now that. that's all that's online. Yeah, if you go in, they, they may have tons they more They may stuff. have other stuff. Yeah. So, so I can only speak, like I said, my personal experience was just looking online. It seemed like a lot of healthier stuff. Uh -huh. And um, most of that stuff just didn't really appeal to me greatly they did have waffles and some pancakes and stuff like that but right. and just said eggs and bacon and toast and so i'm like glad that. you but, were able to try but, but i've always wanted to try it and and i greatly appreciate matthew sending me and the they're always so I could busy go. they were busy when i went yeah there were people outside eating outside there were people inside eating they were really really busy and it but it didn't take long for me to get my food um it only took maybe 10 minutes for me waiting and i ordered it right then Right. Uh, I didn't even order it online, so. It does make me wonder, you know, we talked about how expensive it is. You got basically egg and hash brown and stuff. You, the mushrooms are awesome. Though. It makes me wonder, like, if you went to Cracker Barrel or Bob Evans and got a breakfast a, pl a breakfast plate, how much it would the difference in price would be. Yeah. I don't know because we haven't done that in forever. I haven't been um, in ages. But usually breakfast is pretty cheap. Yeah. Uh, so I, I just don't know what what the price comparison would right. be. Right. And like I said, we didn't see a full menu. I only saw, you would think the online menu would be the same, but. Right. Knows. So which was your favorite thing? The Taco Bell, the Rome tacos. I, w I would get those anytime. Right. And, and if the, the Chick-fil-A one, if they actually had a lot of the, um, um, pimento. the pimento cheese and, a, and more, a little bit more honey on there, a little sweeter, I would probably recommend that one. But the way I got it, I wouldn't recommend it because it just really wasn't, it really wasn't much. And the Arby's Big Game Burger is good. It's a, it's a personal preference there. Right, right. Well, that is it. A uh, long video, I know. But that, that is it for the month of September. If any of these videos sounded uh, like they were interesting and you missed them then please go back and look them up like i said uh kevin's lunchtime review channel uh you get a new video five days a week so he does those it's one video a day it's not like he bombards you like i do on this channel he, you get one video a day monday through friday uh, but i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you at the end of october